All right, so a little bit about Christianity. There's a lot of motherfucking Christians in the world. Let's just say that. 2.2 billion, okay? So it's the largest religious, I don't even want to call it a denomination, but group, right? Because there's so many, there's, you know, Methodists, Mormons, uh, Roman Catholics, Protestants. Uh, there's just so many different, like, subsets of Christianity. Um, but, you know, it's the largest religious group. Um, the largest groups within it are Protestant, Christians, Roman Catholics, and Anglican um, Christians. Anglica, Anglica, ah, Anglicanism uh, is prominent, uh, you'll find, in, like, um, you know, United Kingdom. United Kingdom, there's a big branch rubbing on my, my metal roof, and it's creaking like a motherfucker. Um, anyways, um, in the United States, you have a uh, you know, smaller portion of Catholics and a larger portion of Chris Christian, Christian groups, you know, Protestant Christian groups. Okay? So it started in the first century AD. Um, about 80%, 75 to 80% of Americans claim to be Christian. This, this, this is a, a loose number um, in the sense of like, you know, oh, I'm Catholic, but you go to Catholic church twice a year, something, something like that. So it could mean that to like someone who, who's a fundamentalist. You know. But if you look at the, you know, the, the breakdown of Christians in America, so of, of that 80%, um, you know, uh, roughly, well, we want to look at it, you know, uh, half of that is, is Protestants, 25% of that are, are Catholics, um, then you have about 4 to 5% that are other religions, and then you have a large portion of uh, people who are atheist or agnostic or just don't give any fucks at all. Uh, just don't even think about it at, at all. So breaks it down a little bit for you. You can see this chart that shows kind of the you know, religion across the world, you know, the portion of, so, uh, you know, atheists only make up 2.3%. And then you have 11.7% who are non-religious, meaning they, 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 no fucks given. Atheists give a fuck. Like, they're very, if you consider yourself atheist, you, you may be more vocal about it versus someone who doesn't care. Uh, Buddhists are almost 6%. Muslims are 21%. Uh, Hindus are 13%. And Christians are 33%. And then you have, obviously, other religions that make up about 12.5%. So it kind of just breaks down uh, you know, what it looks like in the world. Um, but the United States is mostly a Christian country, let's just say. Um, so the Catholic Church is a denomination of Christianity. Uh, there are 1.2 billion adherents. So out of the 2.2 uh, billion Christians... Uh, more than half are Catholics, and you, you have a lot of Catholics all over, all over the world. But, um, you know, it's largely a European um, religion, uh, religious belief system that was spread through colonization um, to Latin America, South America, um, you know, places in Africa, other, other places through, through colonialism. Um, but the Catholic Church views itself as the original, uh, the original church, okay? Um, and it's important, there's just, you know, different views um, here, specifically when we think about Christianity. So, like, with the Catholic Church, you know, adherents cannot talk to God or be God. Um, in Christianity, you know, other cr Protestant Christ Christian re religions or, or whatever, um, you can you can communicate with God through prayer. Um, in ca Catholicism, only you know popes and bishops and you know cardinals and you know whatever um, priests can communicate with God f for you. You're not allowed to. And one of the reasons why <coughs> um, Mormonism has come under a lot of critique by you know other Christian uh, denominations is because you you can become God. Okay, um, but for Cath you know the Catholic Church. Um, there's one God, okay, but other God-like figures, so Jesus, uh, the Virgin Mary, um, and, you know, the thing with the, um, <clears throat> the Catholic Church is, 
is it's not only the Bible. So if you look at other uh, denominations of Christianity, the document is the Bible. In uh, the Catholic Church, there is the document of the, of the Bible, and there's also the sacred tradition, which are these documents buried in the catacombs, okay, um, that only the Pope can, can access and read, and very few people, you know, have access to it, and etc. So, um, also in ca the Catholic religion, you must be baptized into it. So, uh, whereas other denominations, it's faith-based. If you have faith and believe in it without question, um, you're, you're a member, but in, in, in the Catholic uh, religion, you know, you have to be um, uh, uh, baptized. Now, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, controversy in the Catholic Church. Um, specifically in the last 20, 30 years um, that have come to light, right? Because, you know, a belief is that, you know, an anti-contraception. So not, you know, not having protected sex, um, which is a problem for me at least, okay? Um, the also is the view that homosexuality is, is unholy. It's an unholy, unholy act um, that you're going to hell if, if, you're, if you're gay or queer, okay? Um, also issues have been uh, obviously the child sex abuse scandals that came to light in the early 2000s and keep popping up in mass every four or five years. And again, they've been sued like a motherfucker over these things. Um, but um, that's been an issue. And also, you know, they, they don't ordain women. Um, it's a dudes only. Um, so again, when you think of like, Beliefs that should be questioned. Maybe some some of these things should be questions, as Matt as Matt and Trey suggest in Red Hot Catholic Love. So, what is the doctrine? Okay, um, the doctrine is the sacred tradition. It's in Roman Catholicism. Um, these doctrines are you know basically taught by the Pope and bishops. They're the only ones who have access to this material. It's taught through them. They are the word and the mouthpiece of these documents. Okay. Um, the sacred deposit um, is where is found in the scriptures and the sacred tradition. So again, this is all the this sort of superstitious stuff, more or less, that South Park brings up and deconstructs and interrogates in Red Hot Catholic Love. Okay, um, the important thing is that you know um, who's ob able to make meaning of this is the Pope and the bishops. Like, no one else is able to read the documents and see what they say and make any sort of meaning out, out of them. So it can only be known through what's called the, uh, the, the magisterium, okay, um, which are, you know, popes and, and bishops. Um, so it's this, this sort of, these views that go along with the Bible, um, that Matt and Trey go into in Red Hawk Catholic Law.